some of you may or may not have seen a few very distinct looking display bases in some of my videos and even some in the past have had integrations for this specific company. And now Elevate Figure Displays has sent me over a brand new bundle for me to unbox and display for you guys. And yes, that was most definitely a pun. And to just take a look to see exactly what they sent over. And generally, I wasn't really thinking about doing this, but I figured, you know what? Look at this box. It's kind of got that suitcase aesthetic. It's a sleek black with a cool little sticker there on the front that says Elevate Figure Displays. I figured, you know what? This kind of merits its own video. Oh my god. So it does look like they went a little above and beyond to make sure that this feels pretty premium as far as what they're kind of including. First, we have this little insert that, of course, says collecting is about dreaming of spectacular poses and scenes, building stunning displays, and celebrating who you are through your collection. Thank you for showcasing the collector's spirit and having a positive impact in our community. So a little bit of QR code and logo stuff right there. I do like the little clean yellow look on the back right here. Elevate figure displays, build your dream displays. Construye la exhibición de sus sueños. Yes, I do, speak, I do speak Spanish, actually. Contrary to popular belief and contrary to my actual white complexion. <laughs> and once you get that sheet out of the way, look at this. Look at the way that they kind of displayed all this. I truly do feel spoiled here. A little bit pampered. You even have some really good stuffing right here. Okay, so I got to hit up my girlfriend or somebody that I know who's got a birthday coming up. I can definitely use this for stuff. <laughs> no, but thank you, Elevated Figure Displays. This is actually really, really cool that this is kind of tossed in there. So as you can see, we got three primary major boxes that are now kind of taking up the majority of the space. Let's see what the left one is right away right here. So as you can see, now, okay, I got to be honest. This is really cool because before we only had like brown boxes and we kind of had to kind of take a peek behind the curtain to see exactly what it is that we were getting. Now... The boxes themselves are decorated out. I love this. I love the overall. I almost don't really want to mess up any of these boxes at all. And you can see right here that they're a little bit more indicative of what's inside and what they cater to. So elevated figure displays. This is the Luna series peg free foot stand. So this is of course going to be those hexagonal peg free displays where they simply just have this like little curvature so that, that you can fit in just one foot of the figure in there. No pegs required, slip on, and poof, you're done. And as you can see, they mostly cater to 112 scales, so I would argue that they work best with McFarlane toys, but you can still work with Marvel Legends. The foot is just going to be a little loose, so you kind of have to press a little bit extra in there. But you can see this is a 9-pack. Let's see if it's already open. And yes, yes it is. And you can see right there, translucent. You got about maybe three in each Ziploc bag, so that's cool. Both kind of packed in right there very nicely or all three rather and yeah the in my opinion this is actually one of my favorite things that elevator figure displays has created thus far in terms of the peg free because not every figure is going to come with uh, the little hole on the foot to be able to pick it in of course you're going to have your industry standard companies that are going to be able to do it like hasbro marvel legends uh mcfarland toys etc but th there's going to be some out there that's just going to have a solid foot and this will definitely come in handy for them. Next up, you're going to have the Hexagon Risers, the interlocking display, uh, expandable displays. This is a six pack. So this is going to be similar to those hexagons that I was talking about before, where you have pretty much these that are stackable, favoring the 112th. But again, I feel like you can still kind of mix and match a few of the Mafex, a few of the figure arts in there. You just have to be careful with the extra bit of space because of the varying degrees of scale. But again, I really like the display of the boxes now. You have, of course, their new logo with the astronaut right there and the little artwork with the moon. And then on the side right there, more of the displays, the yellow aesthetic, the overall yellow and black theme. I really dig it, guys. Really enjoy this UPC code. So it'll be crazy if I start to go to collectible stores and I start to see these things up on the shelf. I'll be like, yo, these guys, they're already expanding. So that's sick. And if we want to take a very, very quick peek at some of these risers, the big attractive thing for me personally is that now they are not only a little hollowed out right here, 
but they're completely translucent. And for the main reason that is, is because now you can f customize them with any sort of LED lights. And that's important for some collectors because before we had these solid black ones that were pretty well built and they did have the elevated figure displays etched logo etched right there on the bottom. So that's pretty cool for display purposes, for very quality purposes, for branding. But here's the thing, sacrificing that in turn means that now you have a hollowed out area right here and it's translucent. So not only do you have this much more elegant, some may even argue a bit of a sexy appeal to your display, but you still have the elevatorfiguredisplay.com site right there, kind of etched in towards the bottom, but still very minimal so it doesn't ruin your display. And the big attraction though is that for those of you who love to set up your detolf cases with LED lights or anything like that, and you want to light up your figures from underneath to kind of give them that much more bombastic display presence, then there you go. You can now do so with the hexagonal displays, and that's exactly what these are for. Also, on top of the much stronger, firmer grip that each of these hexagonal bases have to each other when you kind of interlock them because of the suction mechanism with the hollowed out space, so they hold onto each other very tight. But you also get this grid piece that you can kind of pop in the hexagonal displays onto so that when you move one, you move the others, and they all move in congruity with each other. So that's pretty cool. And over here we have uh, oh, it's the same thing. Okay, so they pretty much threw in a two pack. <laughs> so you got six and six. You have a total pack of 12 in inside of this bundle. So you have the Luna series now of the hexagon razors. And from what I can tell, that is almost it. But when I lift this bit of stuffing, what is this? I have a <laughs> very cylindrical looking box right here. And I, I'm actually kind of eager to see exactly what this is. Let me. See if I could do this without ruining the box too much because it does look like it's very tight in there. Nope, I'm ruining the box. Sorry, guys. Sorry, it's really tight in there. There you go. Oh, my God. I'm so sorry. But it's very, very tight in there. That's what she said. Yes, that's what this is. Okay, now this I was actually really, really looking forward to ever since Elevator Figure Displays decided to announce this. So, effectively, I recognize that... You could take an ordinary paintbrush or any kind of brush, like a makeup brush or whatever, and utilize that for your figures. But now Elevated Figure Displays now has their own proprietary dust brusher. And that, honestly, is super handy for dusting off figures. I have a shit ton of figures in this room as we speak that have a lot of dust accumulated in them, specifically in the summertime when we have to crank up the AC, and it's going to naturally blow a bunch of dust all over the top part of my room and even into this light box itself so whenever I have figures that are on display for a very long time this is gonna come in handy so you could start dusting off some of those figures you have the nice little soft brush heads here at the front Ooh, ooh, it feels really good to the touch but to me more importantly the quality of the actual cylindrical metal piece right here in the middle that's kind of compacting everything together makes me a little confident that it's at least gonna take a while before some of these brussels may have to start expanding towards the sides after some time of use and start to look into a replacement but you have the elevator figure displays logo right there on the handle handle also feels quality and i dig the satin matted finish on the handle itself and yeah to me honestly this is actually one of the things that i was looking forward to the most because like i said i have a crap ton of figures here in this room that i have now need to dust before i start to get a little bit too busy with things so we got this we got the nine peg free hexagonal flat footed luna series foot stands and then a total grand total of what was it like so, okay so 12 of these hexagonal razors that are now translucent so you can put lights you can uh, decorate them with something underneath but now they have a much more sleek elegant look so all this stuff was tossed into this bundle by elevated figure displays guys appreciate not only you guys for watching but also i appreciate to elevated figure displays for sending this over for me to unbox and if you guys want to check them out there is going to be a link in the description as well as a pinned comment so if any of you have been watching my videos for any kind of reviews comparisons or display type videos for the figures that i cover predominantly mcfarlane marvel legends mafex or mafex however you pronounce that ashh figure arts and hell maybe even mesco fun joy and some newcomers now being part of the channel then most of you are probably in some upkeep needed for your figures and for your displays and your collection so elevated figure displays they got you covered again link in the description or in the pinned comment and you can even get a code down there that will then get a percentage off your order 
and you guys will be in good hands. So, again, I appreciate you for watching. Appreciate Elevated Figure Displays for sending this over. And until next time, guys, stay humble. Take care.